How's it going, everybody? Finally scored some carburetors for the fun jet. If you remember in my last fun jet video, um, when I pulled the carbs off and tried to get them freed up, um, I busted one of the throttle shafts. Um, so I determined those carburetors are really not worth trying to save. Um, so I found this set here on eBay. Um, they came from a 1984 70 horse. Um, really doesn't make a difference. Uh, the only thing that really I was concerned with is that they were Kaihin BCKs and that they um, worked. Uh, so this evening I pulled them apart. I cleaned them up um, both on the outside and on the inside they came out really nice um, I do have to get bowl o-rings and these little rubber um, plugs which they go um, and close up the pilot jet the pilot jet actually gets its fuel um, it has to draw it through the main jet and then there's a small passage drilled um, in between these two holes that uh, it gets its fuel from um, I just use some gunk to clean the outside of them and then um, some of this Napa carb cleaner to clean up the insides and then I just uh, blew them out with some compressed air, made sure all the passages and jets were clear, which they were. I also pulled one of those junk carburetors apart and confirmed that the jets in these are the same size as those, so we don't need to do any jet swapping. Um, so next step, once we get those uh, the O-rings and bushings, will be to make a new fuel um, line manifold, which I'm not going to bore you guys with. I'm also going to order the link that goes in between all three of the carburetors, as we found out that that was junk as well. Um, so... Hopefully within the next couple of weeks, we'll be um, have these carbs all back together. We'll be putting them on and uh, see if uh, she'll run. Now, I do have some general carburetor rebuilding tips that I try to use whether I'm at home like I am now or I'm at work. The first thing I always do is... I clear an area on the bench that will fit all of the carburetors and then I put down a towel so that if I do drop something it doesn't bounce off the metal worktop and uh, end up on the floor where then it gets kicked underneath the bench to never be found again. And I also like to have a nice strong light above where I'm working so I can use that light to see the status of the jets, how clogged they are or not. And I also like to have my compressed air right close by. Um, here I've just got it hanging on the bench vise. Um, I also will put my tools next to where I'm working. And I also will have my chemicals right near where I'm working as well. And um, now at work, we have the radio going all day long. Um, here, I don't, obviously for YouTube, um, don't want to get any copyright strikes there. Um, but even if I am at home, I do generally try to keep uh, the radio off just so I'm not distracted. And then what I also do is um, I keep the parts 
separated my carburetor just um, so I don't get anything mixed up which with these carburetors is not a big deal but with some carburetors it can create problems um, I found out I found that out from experience so until the next video see ya